Right, let's go to the calls. 0317-22-3344. Does Harry Maguire deserve to get booed tonight, even if he's been brilliant for England? Let's go to Stephen, who's a Manchester United fan. Stephen, good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you? All right, Steve. Um, you're obviously a Manchester United fan. Give us your take on Harry Maguire being booed tonight. OK, well, I want to ask you guys what, what you think about this. What justifies a player's selection for their country? Is it their previous games for the country or their form for their club? The manager's decision, the Stephen. No, no. I'm then asking I'm, you a straight question. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a straight answer. answer. I'm giving you a straight no, you're answer. you're not answering the question. What is it? It's the manager's decision. Just, no, no. What justifies the selection is either the... The, the well, either, either he's been playing right, well, either, let or, or he's, he, he's... Let me finish. I've got, you're well, asking the question, question Steve-O. I'm answering the question. Right? The, the reason he's being picked for England is because he's never let England down. He's a reliable member of the squad. And Gareth Southgate no, trusts not. him. No. And Gareth Southgate trusts no. him. What do you mean, no? That, that, right. That's fact. Right. Right. Well, how can he be reliable and deemed to be a reliable player when his performance for his club is diabolical? How can you say that? Because when he plays for England, his performances have been excellent. Right. OK. Well, tell me this, guys, then. How can you justify somebody playing exceptionally well for England, as you claim, which I totally disagree with, yet when he plays for United, he's absolutely awful? How do you justify that? He can't be good for one team and awful for another. Well, so what's the problem? You're, you're, the way your club is managed, Steve-O, mismanaged from the very top. The decision to give Oli the job was a was a wrong one. I've been calling it as soon as no, he got the job. No. Yes, it is. Ollie, it was wrong. Oli, Oli's doing better than Ragnick. Well, Ragnick again, another bad decision. You can name the decisions. You keep getting the, keep getting your managerial decisions wrong. You Manchester United, and you're you're appointing interim managers. Oli going to Solskjaer, who was managing Norway. You got Ralph Rangnick who's managed like, for three years. What do you expect? The selection of Maguire. What do you expect from your team? Decision. What do you expect from your team? What do you expect from Varane? What do you expect from Rashford? I, do the maths. I it's not like, just him. Guys, we've chatted before after internationals, and I've told you, Northern Ireland's Johnny Evans is a better player than Maguire. He's it's got a better that manager. That's all my players. He's got a better manager, manager. Steve-O. So who's the better manager? No. Ranjek? Or, or Leicester's you're, manager? No, 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 you're moving the goalposts because you're talking about Maguire being booed, and now you're moving on the Man United well, manager. No, you're moving the goalposts. No, no, you asked me. You asked me the difference between why he plays well for England and why he doesn't do it for his club. And I'm giving you an example of why I think the case is. He's got a better manager for England. He's had a better manager over the last 24 months than he has at Manchester United. So, so by your argument, then, you're saying that Ranieri has been the best manager Maguire's played for? I'm saying, well, right now at Southgate. That's your argument? No. You're saying Maguire's best club... Was it Leicester, therefore? I didn't Ranieri say that. I didn't been, say that. No, you're, no, you're blaming his manager. Yes. So you are saying that. Yeah, well, Ranieri's a better manager than Ranieri. Ranieri's a better manager than Oligon Solskjaer. I don't... I, if you look at the performances, it, it actually would show that Solskjaer was a better manager at United than Ragnick. Well, he gets sacked, then. Well, look at the stats. The stats say it all. What stats? So, the stats, I mean, stats, you didn't win anything. Uh, but, in terms of in terms of games won and and, and level Steve, of performance, it was better under come on, Steve. than Steve, Ragnick. You, Steve, That's the fact. Steve, look, just on Harry Maguire, would you have booed him tonight if you was there at the game? Would you have booed him? Whenever I see uh, Maguire on the team sheet, I don't watch the United games. You, you, you don't watch your own club. Be, you, you don't watch your own club because Harry Maguire's on the team sheet. You can't see much football yeah. this season, then. Yeah. So no, I haven't. I, I watch my local team in Northern Ireland called Glen Thorne because they're 100 times better right. than what's going on in Old Trafford right now. And you blame, Ma- and you blame Maguire on all of that? Well, well look, look, look at what we can see this year. Look, has, has Maguire had any good games for United this season? Yeah, but the team's not performed. The team's not been great. And he's lost his confidence, like a lot of the players at Manchester United have. Luke Shaw, Rashford. They've all lost their confidence, not just Harry Maguire, but when he plays Maguire's for England, he deserves the respect that he, that he deserves. He de- you know, Maguire's come a, on. No, Maguire, no, hold on. Maguire's an embarrassment. He's the worst club captain United have ever had. Look back over the years, your, your Kings, your Bruce's. You know, Maguire can't lace their boots. Just listening to you, Steve, you're, you're, an exa- you're the problem, Steve. You're part of the problem. Of course. 
You are. Yes, I am. You are. You are. You're part, you you part of the problem, oh, Steve. Hold on. I have every right to comment because whenever yeah. I go to the game, I'm paying their wages. That's yes, fine. So I have that's, every right to comment. That's so fine. Why am I the problem? Because, you, because, you, because you're booing, you're booing a your own player. You're not, you're, you're not watching Man United. I mean, you're some supporter you are. I you're not even watching them. You're not, to, you're not a proper Man United fan, Steve. I don't want Maguire at my club. Fine, but, you're, you're, but not to watch them tells me you're not a proper Man United fan. No, I'm not going to invest my time and my hard-earned money in a club where I don't agree with the direction of travel right now. What's wrong with that? It's fine, you're entitled to your opinion, but I'm just saying, if one player is exactly. on that team sheet, you're not watching them because of that, I don't, I'm, you know, yeah. support, yeah. support the team. Stephen, I have the same issues that I like to Paul Pogba, who has got fuckless of ability and doesn't deliver on the pitch. Yeah. It's, you know, so he's down so, tools. So, so. He's down tools, and I and I get that, and I would get the the kind of the arguments behind that. But Maguire goes out on the pitch and wants to give everything that he's got. Guys, let's be honest. You guys rave about Maguire for one reason and one reason only because he's English. Well, he's, he's just been booed. But when the team sheet was read out, Steve, it's a disgrace. Yes, shocking. Because the support, shocking. No, because what? No, let me tell you why, guys. Because the supporters at Wembley, I'm guessing, look at the watch. Watch the highlights of the Saturday matches in the Premier League and go, how, you know, week in, week out, we see what he does, which isn't an awful lot, and then he gets picked for England and it's like, how does that add up? Because they don't get it. They're expressing their opinion that they don't understand the decision-making process, which is perfectly reasonable. Not to be. Stephen, are you, are you Republic of Ireland or, or Northern Ireland? You're Northern Irish? Northern Ireland, yeah, in Belfast, yeah. Right, so, so if, if Harry Maguire played for Northern Ireland in a massive game in a World Cup qualifying. He's been poor for Manchester United this season, but he he come and played for your country. Would you boo him? Would you not would you watch the game? I'll give you an example tonight, guys, from our game where we lost against Hungary. Um number seven, Now McGinn started tonight. Now McGinn is famous in our folklore for the cross in the Euro twenty sixteen for Gaz McCauley to score the header against Ukraine where we beat them two 0 so now, now again is one of is in one is in our folklore. Yeah. He played tonight. He had an absolute shocker. My view was he should have been pulled off at half time, and I was quite vocal to the guys around me to say I'd have pulled him off at half time. Started the second half, sloppy at the back, poor back pass to the keeper, and hungry scored their goal. Mm. I was livid, livid. So, so you're going to pull him off for so. being? So you're going to pull him off because he was sloppy? He had, he had a bad first half, and it was a friendly. Take him off at half time. What odds? Okay. Give I, I, younger players a chance. Give give Nam against what 34, 35. Let the younger players come through. Play younger talent. Give them game time. Flood them. Right, Steve. I, I appreciate your opinion. Yeah. Very good call. 